At the apex of design, the pinnacle of innovation, and full potential of evolution, there is only Presto Corporation, where man has created a different kind of man. Meet Errol Sun, the next step in human potential. Expressive, reactive, limitless. Serial number 9.2018. Exclusively engineered in the Nike Lab. Born in partnership with Acronym. A reproduction like no other. Now available in three colors. Populating human consumer markets, Fall 2018. Presto Corporation. What's up guys, Kevin here from Fashion Forward Always. I'm here to talk about the acronym Presto 2.0. So I got these guys super early and I did sort of like a thorough review of them, um, or I guess thorough testing. I wanted to test these guys for at least around a week um, before I give you guys my thoughts on them. And since the release date just happened right now, right now it is 402, so it is officially over. I know that acronym's website might restock, so keep your eyes peeled for this. Um, but let's get into the details. So first, let's talk about some of the, uh, I guess, specifications. So the upper is comprised of primarily nylon. I believe the upper sock booty part is going to be ballistic nylon. And the fabric underneath it reminds me of the Air Easy 2 with its sort of hexagonal pattern. And then the rest of the sneaker is just going to be this normal nylon upper with these little... Um, I guess protective patches or extra seam material. Uh, why I call this a 2.0 is because they actually added an additional little, um, not really a sticker, but an additional patch in order to prevent the chafing that happened with the 1.0s where the cage would rub against the nylon and it would often create holes. So a lot of people that size down would have that issue. Now it won't be too much of an issue and the most I guess noticeable thing on this shoe except for the crazy colors all around is going to be that pattern that pattern is all around super crazy it is on the heel it is on the cage and the protective toe cap so this is I guess the loudest one of the bunch they have a dynamic yellow and white pair which has a nice pattern as well but my least favorite has to be the gray the gray's pattern just seems really small and it reminds me of a composition notebook maybe it'll grow on me once i get it in hand but so far i'm not super impressed by it uh, currently i only have this guy in hand the other two are on its way so i will be making an on foot separate video for those two guys kind of a, of a supplementary video if it's up it'll be in the notification card somewhere above if it isn't be patient with me i guess um, and follow me on Instagram for the latest details. The two cons, I suppose, is one, I do not like how they used a white leather insole. The white leather insole shows wear extremely quickly. I've only had this for a week and the insole looks beat. The insole is super comfortable, but it just looks super, super beat. The 1.0s didn't have an issue like that, primarily because it came with a black insole. Um, I believe my Lunar Forces also had sort of like that issue. Same with um, the Lunar Force 1.0s as well. My Vapor Maxes were fabric, so they were okay. But just that leather insole, I'd much rather have it be black. And by the looks of it, it'll eventually turn black. Um, I wear primarily Nike black socks, so I'm assuming some of the color transfers, as well as um, some Volt Nike socks, which I think just rubs against it a very weird way. But um, that was just one of my biggest complaints. Another complaint is I don't understand why they are so reluctant to give a full size spectrum. So if you guys remember, the 1.0s came in the traditional Presto sizing, which was supposed to mimic a t-shirt. So it was extra, it was like double extra small to double extra large, if I remember correctly. And for this release, they made it a little bit better where they included a size five to I believe a size 13, but no half sizes. Um, I know Prestos, at least the modern Prestos, for a fact, they come in half sizes. Why can't you just make a full 
size run, like an actual full size run. Um, I don't understand why everyone's so against it. I went with a size eight. Um, I'm normally like an eight to an eight and a half. I wear a size eight to an eight and a half in Jordan ones. This just is a smidge little big on me, but it is still comfortable. Um, it's only about like a pinky's room of worth big on me. Um, but you know, that is very doable. If I just wear like thicker socks, perfect. Everything's all good. So another interesting detail why I would call this a 2.0 is actually the piping. So on this pair, it has a neon green piping. The other ones have different ones, but this one has a neon green. It covers up the middle seam. I'm not quite sure the reason outside of the aesthetic of it, but I do like it. Um, I'm not sure how well the acronym print is going to hold up on this middle seam because it does come in contact with the cage pretty often and I'm assuming it'll get scratched off because it looks like screen print. So I haven't experienced any, I guess, chafing from it um, or scratching from it. So everything's all good so far. So for you guys who have yet to have any um, acronym prestos, um, let me just show you guys so the zipper so the zipper two-way zipper and people do complain why it keeps on coming down but that's because this flap is up this is a one-way directional um lock sort of it's sort of like a semi-lock where if you have it like this you can easily zip it down like that but if you flip this down like that it becomes almost impossible to zip down unless you physically pull this down so that's sort of like a quick tip, I suppose. And you can just, so quick way to get these guys off. One here, one here, pry it open. So you get the inner open. And then once you get both of them out like that, you can pull this, pull this straight up and then just attach it on the back. So it is actually pretty useful for getting it in and out really quickly. And I really do appreciate it. That's why I don't know, like that's why instead of reselling, I'm wearing this pair. <laughs> One other thing that I noticed is that this comes with a standard black sportswear box, which is reminiscent of the original Presto, which came in a red sportswear box. But all of the other acronym sneaker collaborations came with a white co-branded acronym box. I don't quite understand why they aren't, or why I guess they are skimping out on the I guess build or the presentation of it because I feel like they could have done something really really cool with the whole Presto Corp idea it could have come with like a thicker box like what they've done with the Sean Witherspoons or the Nigel Sylvester Air Jordan ones they came in like a special box I feel like this given that this is probably the most popular collaboration that Aerosmith has done with Nike I feel like it does deserve like a special box. I know this might be sort of like bitching for you guys, but I do believe that this collaboration is worth it, worth like a little bit extra. I know that the friends and family pairs and the insider pairs came with like a sort of like a ceramic Aerosyn figure and it came with this big like thick like Presto box, but like you, I mean, come on, like it really doesn't cost that much and I feel like it would have really added to the whole Presto Corp aesthetic of it. Um, but the sneaker itself, it is good. One of the things that I do see becoming an issue and I already see it on my pair is the cage print. So the cage print was sort of lazily done. I can't expect too much from like a made in China sneaker and plus it's a Nike sneaker. You can't really expect like top quality on it, but the paint on it is a little bit lazy. I know a few friends do want to strip the paint or the pattern from the cage and the toe box. Um, I have to say on this pair, I think you can do that easily for the cage and the toe box. I think for the heel, you might actually have to paint over it or be a bit more aggressive on the actual um, heel counter because this guy looks different I guess in print wise this guy you can clearly tell it's printed same with the toe um, but the heel it seems like they used a different um, a different process where it might be a bit harder it might be easier to just paint over it if you guys do want the base um, of this guy is going to be white. The base of the heel is going to be a translucent gray. Same with the toe cap. So my personal opinions is that I really do like this. Um, this color in specific, 
Um, initially, when the pictures were out there, I was a little bit iffy, but after getting them in hand early, I just really do like them. This is such a amazing, I guess, standout piece. It definitely is a flex piece, and I primarily wear this guy with a black outfit. Um, it would be black crop trousers or really skinny black trousers like the p10s would be awesome with these guys i don't have enough dough to buy the p10s fyi but um these guys are just super killer super sleek i don't think this guy will ever go out of my rotation i have been wearing them a lot if you guys have been following my journey or my story um, my Instagram at Kevin.IMG definitely follow there um, I post there daily with my stories but there I've been putting these guys through the ringer these guys and the Nigel Sylvester Air Jordan ones I've been wearing these guys a bit more though in my opinion these guys are really comfortable um, I'd like to compare them to react but a bit more firm so all day comfort definitely like I said how I'd rock these guys for these guys in specific I would rock a all black outfit because um, these guys are just a bit loud. I don't think you can really do any coordination with them unless you want to wear um, like a black outfit with like a neon green jacket like Acronym has released. Um, I feel like that would work out as well um, if you're really trying to go all out. But the primary base in my opinion would be black. For the, the dynamic yellow, Excuse me, sorry about that. The dynamic yellow, my friend Theo actually wore them a very interesting way where he would use more tonal olive colors with it. And I think it works primarily because of that dynamic yellow. I think it adds as like a transition from like that super white and that black all the way to that more natural tone. I know that he's thinking about doing some customization DIY stuff with that. I won't say too much on that, but follow his Instagram at this is Theodore. And I think the black and gray pair, you can pretty much, it's a pretty safe colorway. You can rock it anyway. Um, in my opinion, I would try to strip the pattern um, and maybe even paint it volt. I feel like that'd be really like dope. It would be like gray volt toe box and like maybe a volt cage. And I think that'd be really dope with like a black heel counter. And like, that'd be like super killer. All in all, um, I really do like this sneaker. It is um, definitely, my top five sneakers of 2018 and 2018 is closing out really quickly um this guy is i've had the previous prestos and these guys do feel a bit more substantial people are gonna say that the ogs are better i do like the olives and the um olives and the volt colorway the previous volt colorway better than the other two colorways that released but i do like these guys this is a close first this or the olives are first and then the volts are a second and then the other pairs are third um i think acronym didn't play it safe this time and i really do like that i don't think we need any more safe sneakers if you wanted a safe sneaker just get some waterproof presto or something like that because these collaborations are really where um these designers can like flex their muscles and they've already like released like safe colorways and safe shoe models uh, the years prior so this is definitely a flex item and a highlight piece so that is that i'm going to do some on feet for these guys and some close-up shots as well for the other two colorways i will be releasing them together um, for the on foot portion at least in a few days acronym just shipped my pair so i should get mine in like four days or so coming from germany um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll talk to you guys next time peace